How can I determine the hardness or the ability of this mineral to resist scratching? It's the Mohs scale to the rescue. The Mohs scale of mineral hardness is based on the ability of one mineral to scratch another mineral visibly. The Mohs hardness scale was developed in the 1800s by Frederick Mohs, a German mineralogist. Hardness is a measure of a mineral's ability to resist scratching. He selected 10 minerals of different hardness that range from a very soft mineral like talc to a very hard mineral like diamond. Mohs hardness is a measure of the relative hardness and the resistance to scratching between minerals. When doing the test of minerals, it's necessary to determine which mineral was scratched. Let's go through the Mohs scale. As you move up the scale, hardness increases. At number one, talc. Two is gypsum. Three is calcite. Four is fluorite. Five is apatite. Six is feldspar. Seven, quartz. Eight, topaz. Nine, corundum. And then the hardest is a diamond. You can also use common household items to test for hardness. For example, a fingernail has a hardness of around 2 to 2.25. A penny is between 3 and 3.5. And a, a nail, 5 or 6. A piece of glass, 5 or 5.5. Five a, a street plate, around 6. And a piece of quartz, around 7. Let's determine the hardness of this mineral. First, it can scratch talc, which I know is at 1, so it's greater than 1 but it can be scratched by calcite, which has a hardness of three. So it has a hardness of two. This fact helps me identify the mineral using a simple chart of, as gypsum. If you'd like to know more about the Mohs hardness scale, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.